Recently, I came across this chess puzzle on Reddit and it immediately caught my attention. It consists of an oddly shaped board with two white knights and two dark knights positioned as seen here. The goal is to swap the positions of the white and dark pieces using legal chess moves. However, this is where the puzzle splits into two separate challenges. So in this video, I'll make an AI that solves both of these challenges and I'll also make the puzzle into a game in Unity so you can try solving it before I reveal the solutions. So what are the two challenges that make up this puzzle? Both challenges have to do with one particular restriction, which is forcing turns between white and dark pieces. In the first challenge, you are free to move any piece at any point regardless of color, while in the second one, you have to alternate moves between white and dark pieces. The puzzle seems to hint that this approach might be impossible, and it leaves it up to you to prove whether that is the case. So how would an AI go about solving this puzzle? Two words, pathfinding algorithms. They're algorithms that look for a path between two nodes, or positions, or in our case, chessboard arrangements. For our purposes, we'll use an algorithm called Breadth First Search, or BFS for short. To show how this algorithm works, I'll use a simple maze. We need to get from the green tile to the red tile, ideally using the shortest possible path. What BFS does is that it alternates between exploring tiles in every available path. This way it guarantees that it will find the shortest path to the goal. The opposite to this approach is Depth First Search, or DFS, which explores the first path all the way to the end, before going to the next one and then the next and so on, until it finds the goal. This approach however means that the first found path will not necessarily be the shortest. For our purposes, I decided to go with BFS. Like what happened in the maze, the algorithm will start from the initial board and slowly explore every possible move until it reaches our goal board and hopefully give us the shortest solution to the puzzle. And now it's finally time. I used the AI to generate the solutions for both challenges. So now we have the shortest solution for challenge 1 and we have the answer of whether challenge 2 is possible or not. And as promised, for those of you who want to try the puzzle first, you can find the link to the game in the description below. It's playable in browser. Now that we're set, let's look at our findings. For the first challenge, solving without turn restriction, the AI found that the shortest possible solution was 40 moves long. Here is how it goes. To clarify, I did not expect the shortest solution to be this long. Finding 40 moves is a considerably difficult task, so props to you if you were able to solve it. And if you didn't, don't worry, I have a surprise at the end of the video. And now, for the second and more exciting challenge, solving with turn restriction. To explain this challenge's outcome, I have to clarify some details. Firstly, in theory, the buzzer board itself has a total of 1260 variations. The question is, how many of these variations are reachable using legal moves? If you move without turns restricted, which is the approach of the first challenge, all of the 1260 board variations are reachable using legal moves. In other words, if you take any two randomly configured boards, there will always be a way to get from the first board to the second one using legal moves. However, if you're restricted by turns, which is the approach of the second challenge, you can only access 618 board variations using legal moves. And sadly, the goal board is not one of them, meaning that the second challenge is in fact impossible. And we proved it by going through every possible path of legal moves. Finally, as a bonus, I made the AI look through all of the board variations to find the hardest board to reach, both for the turn restricted and non turn restricted approaches. I've included them with 8 more puzzles of varying difficulties, starting from easy all the way up to very hard, as bonus content to the game. I've also made the decision to not include the answers to these puzzles in the game to make it more challenging. Instead, I added a channel on my Discord server where I'll be crediting each puzzle's solution to the first person that finds it. Join us there using the link in the description. And finally, and most importantly, thank you for watching.